I was conscious in Limerick particularly that, being a very religious city, that the Redemptorists would come to town and there'd be what was called a mission. Now the mission, the job of the missioner, was to frighten everybody to death. Everybody was going to hell. There was this incredible idea that everything he did was a sin. But when you look back, you see, I don't know. You look back and you think, did this in any way stunt your growth? Did it make you more self-conscious? Did it make you repressed sexually? Um, I don't think so. I think, I think we Irish boys and girls, we grew up despite the kind of severe Catholic education that we had to endure because human nature keeps bursting through. And I think the Catholic Church ought to remember that and be a bit more sympathetic about it. I always feel, you know, the worst sin, of course, was sex. Second sin, vanity. And I always wondered how any of us managed to get out of there with any kind of self-regard at all. When, when it comes back to uh, guilt and all of that sort of thing, <laughs> it, it stopped you going too far, though, didn't it? Ah. ah, well, now let me, mm. you know, to, to be quite frank, when it, came, when it came to sex, yes, neither I nor any of my friends got anywhere near it. Not at no. any stage? No. Because of the guilt okay. and because of the instruction and because of the fear of damnation that hung over your head. That's and yet, romance... Blossomed. Romance, romance is better than sex anyway. I, I think we'll, we'll cut out that statement no, from the no, programme and pin no, it up on a board honestly, somewhere, probably honestly, over Limerick somewhere. No, yeah. honestly, the unfulfilled sexual urge is much more satisfactory than the actual act. I see. It's less of a disappointment for an awful lot of people. For an awful lot of people. Mm.